guys and dolls. So I wanted to do a trail on this look. It's kind of, well, it is lime green, purple, and blue. Um, it's one of my favorite color combinations, so I know I've done stuff like this before in the past, so uh, if you don't feel like this is an original video or anything, you don't have to watch it. Um, but I do really like this color combination. And, um, I, you know, this is something that I had done one time. I did, like, a comparison between one brand and, like, my higher-end, like, MAC stuff. And I can't remember which was which, um, that I preferred, unfortunately, because I didn't, like, I don't know, put, like, a little card being, like, this is the MAC look, or, and this is the, the cheaper brand look. Um, so, unfortunately, I didn't know which was which. But, anyway, I've used the, the picture that I liked from it as my Twitter icon a ton of times. And, um, you guys have told me that you really, really like it. So, here's a tutorial showing kind of how I did it. So, I kept switching it up as I went along. And, as a result, the video kind of suffered because I kept forgetting to film. So, um, hopefully you guys will forgive me for that. But, anyway, there will be a full list of products and everything else I used and do that you could use instead of what I used listed on my blog um, anything like color on my nails will be in the sidebar there will be some links that I mentioned they'll be in the sidebar um, I need to have like the little side bear sidebar mascot guy being like it's in the sidebar in case you don't know where to find information da, da, da. I think that's it so anyway enjoy the video and I will see you guys soon bye Okay, so I already have all my eyeshadow bases on and stuff, and if you want more information on what I used, go ahead and check out my blog. I'm going to be laying down my base color for my crease. This is an old technique that I haven't used in, well, it's not old, but it's a technique I used to use a lot and I haven't done in a while. And since I'm doing kind of a cut crease kind of thing, sort of, kind of, um, figured I'd do it. I'm taking a SS219, and I'm using a MAC eyeshadow that's discontinued. Um, on my blog, I'm going to have a list of or um, an explanation of a way to dupe it. It's kind of complicated and I just want to get to the eyeshadow so check out the blog for dupes. Um, I'm just going to basically draw out my crease. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the first little bit of eyeshadow that I can, or the, of eyeshadow, of eyelid that I can see when I'm looking straight at the mirror. So I'm kind of going to just do that basically. And then you want the edge of that to be slightly rounded. Or at least I do. I want it to be kind of rounded. And for right now, we're basically just going to leave it like that. Just a, you know, mild cut crease. Obviously, this doesn't look good. Um, this is part of the makeup art process. Is Sometimes it doesn't look so pretty halfway through or three quarters of the way through, but once you pull it all together, it, it ends up looking cohesive. Anyway, we're going to switch away from drawing out the crease. I just, I do the drawing out of the crease first just to kind of give me an idea of where to frame the um, lower part because I'm going to be using a colored base. So what I'm going to use is another discontinued MAC product. It's, sorry guys, it's, um, gosh, I can't even think of the name of it. Ferro Paint Pot little cheat sheet on the back here. Um, an exact dupe for it would be, uh, I think this is, I don't know, remember the name of it, but it's the green from the Mayron Tropical Palette. It's an exact dupe. I'll go ahead and put a link in the sidebar to a swatch I did of this against uh, Faro. They're the exact same color except that the Mayron one is more pigmented, but like I said, I want to use this before it goes bad. So I'm using a uh, synthetic brush to apply this whenever you're using a cream or liquid product you really you want to try to use something that's synthetic because then the uh, the wetness is not going to penetrate your brush and make the hairs kind of rot and stuff anyway I'm uh, going to go ahead and apply that all over the lower part of the lid below where we did this cut crease color so get that on all over and then if you want you can go back with the brush that you use to apply the crease color and just blend the two together a little bit so that there's no harsh edge. Unless you want a harsh edge, then you could sculpt it out. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with it yet, so I want to keep my options open by keeping it blended for now. I'm feeling bitter at the moment, so we're going to use bitter. I'm not feeling bitter personally. <laughs> that came out wrong. Pack that on over your base. So 
So as you can see, I just kind of use a patting, packing motion and then kind of smooth it all out by just kind of moving it back and forth. Okay, so now for the kind of turquoisey kind of color. I'm going to mix two colors together to get the exact shade that I want. Um, I will provide some dupes on my website. I feel like I'm like just pimping my website, but it's just easier. I'm going to combine Peggy from the Memento Mori palette from Kat Von D and a discontinued MAC eyeshadow called Cool Heat. This is probably my one of my absolute favorite eyeshadows of all time. I don't know why. It's, it's also one of those ones that's pressed really hard, but I like that because it makes it more buildable because sometimes with blues you can do too much too fast, so I like them when they're really hard packed. I don't know. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm going to first dip this into Cool Heat just a little bit, tap off the extra, and just really lightly run it along the crease line where I had the um the violet trance or whatever combination of purples that you use to get that color I'm just gonna run it along that top edge overlapping it slightly because we do want them to be blend together blended together <laughs> and then this is one that is kind of less pigmented so I'll really blend up with this one I love doing this, using two similar colors, but one's um, really richly pig pigmented and one's um, harder pressed or not as pigmented, even though the, the cool heat is very pigmented once you build it. And then taking another eyeshadow that's similar in tone and then using it as the like saturation color. I don't know, I just like doing that. It makes my job easier. Anyway, I'm going to get some of that on the brush, the Peggy from the Memento Mori palette. Get a little bit of my blending brush. By the way, this blending brush is fabulous. It's a total dupe of the MAC 224, and it's from Sonia Kashuk. It's like five or six dollars at Target. Love it. Sorry for people that are international. I know you guys don't have Targets, and that sucks. Just build that really along that line, that first line of the, um, the purple. I'm kind of blending over it just kind of want to make it cohesive and if it gets a little too green you can add a little bit more of the cool heat which is a little it's slightly more blue than uh, Peggy is okay so once you've come up with some kind of a blended together gradient that you're happy with I'm gonna go back in with makeup I'm going to go in with Makeup Forever number 92 and it's pure form, not mixed with anything. I just took my finger in my eyeshadow. Again, with a little um, pencil brush, the SS219. Anyway, get some of that on your brush, tap it off because we don't want any fallout. And I'm just going to draw out the crease once more. But I'm going to really pack on this purple give it a really nice inky purpley kind of an indigo color but more purple toned and you can again blend it to your heart's desire and then I'm going to go back over it again with more of the eyeshadow and I'm just going to pack it on in that line. Hey guys, I kind of realized I wasn't filming. I'm taking a small tiny little shader brush. This is a 228 and a little bit more of the Make uh, Makeup Forever number 92 and then towards the inner corner here I'm just applying a bit more of the eyeshadow to kind of fully complete the cut crease. Even though it's a very soft cut crease it kind of having that on the inner corner just kind of great creates like an artistic edge to it and I just like it so I'm doing it 
obviously you're going to do whatever you like. And then you'll see that it actually shows that the purple is more of like a bright, you know, medium purple. And then it fades to like this more like blue indigo purple-ish kind of thing. Okay, so once you have that all done, I'm going to take a shimmery highlight color. But I'm going to use something that's kind of subtle, light colored sheen. So anyway, I'm just going to apply that to the brow bone area. And this is, I'm using a MAC 252. And just kind of blend that out. This is a holiday 252 if you're wondering why my 252 looks nothing like yours. Or maybe you have one of the holiday ones and then you probably already know how awesome it is for applying highlight. Right? <laughs> I'm going to take uh, a white eyeliner pencil, doesn't matter which one you use, and I'm basically going to apply it in this little bit of the inner corner where we haven't applied anything yet. Underneath where we had the purple. And then I'm going to take a little blending out brush, or a little, it's actually another, this is a MAC 219 from, that I have from a holiday collection. And just kind of blend it out so it's not like a solid white line. You can leave it like that. It looks kind of cool. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take a green duochrome that I have in this. Is it Trucco or Truco? Trucco. I think it's Trucco. Sebastian Trucco palette. It's the, um, the highlight palette. I think they call it like the holographic angel palette or something. I don't know. Whatever. So I'm going to apply that over the white here. And you know what, kids? I like the way this looks so much, and it's actually similar to what I did before. I'm going to take another shader brush, and I'm going to take some of that green duochrome color, and I'm going to apply it over where I had bitter. Okay, you guys, I'm really sorry. I forgot I was filming again, and ugh. Okay, so basically what I did is I did kind of a little bit of a winged Arabic eyeliner. I um, lined my inner and, or like, I lined my upper and lower lash lines with uh, the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Zero, which is the black one. Um, any black eyeliner will work. Um, if you want to know how I do my... Arabic eyeliner. I have two different tutorials where I used it, so I'm going to go ahead and link to those over there. I'm really sorry I didn't show them. Um, I need to do just like an Arabic eyeliner tutorial. It's not really like Arabic, but it's kind of like cat eye or whatever. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that, but just, you know, let me know if you actually just want a, a, a tutorial just for that. Um, anyway, so, um, Basically, all that's really left is lips, and so for that I'm going to use this new lip gloss from The Rock, or is it Lorac? I don't know. Um, it's their 3D multiplex, multiplex glosses, and 3D lip gloss, whatever. Um, the color is vivid. I'll go ahead and have a link to it in the sidebar because I'm kind of obsessed with it at the moment, and I want to tell everyone about it. Anyway, it's like a bubblegum pink with a green duochrome, so it goes really good with the eyes that we did. And that's just one dip into it. So, gets a lot of gloss on there. The color is awesome. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell on camera, but it has a green duochrome. I went ahead and swatched it, so I'll insert the swatch right here. And as you can see, it does have a green duochrome. It's awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. The video is probably going to be kind of long. Kind of extreme looks like this kind of do that. This is kind of a softer extreme look. I mean, it is kind of like crazy, but it's it's soft and doesn't have any hard edges or anything. So for beginners, like kind of like an entry level extreme look. Kind of, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!